Uh, and uh, appreciate everybody being here as well to uh, hopefully I'll pass on some stuff that you can uh, start using uh, today or tomorrow or whatever. So let's get started. So what I was going to present to you today is um, my favorite kind of option strategies, which uh, I call the high reward, low risk option trading using the option butterfly and another strategy, which is really amazing as well, is the long condor. Um, so we're going to go into depth on these two different uh, strategies that are very similar and used for the same types of basic reasons for, for managing risk. So uh, appreciate the introduction. Um, and yeah, I've been around uh, the business for a long time. So, uh, you know, trading is just a journey of learning and I'm constantly learning each and every day. And, you know, a lot of the things that you learn in life, unfortunately, are from your, the mistakes that you make and uh, trading is no different. So hopefully uh, I'll, I'll show you some things here that I learned the hard way and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll avoid those types of bad decisions in the future. But, uh, you know, I've been around long enough to be able to be, be blessed with uh, having traded a lot of different markets. And so we learn a lot from all the different uh, environments that I've been in as, as far as the, the trading goes. So the following uh, webinar here today is purely for educational purposes. Any stocks, options, futures, ETFs mentioned does not constitute advice, should not be construed as a recommendation. So what are the best ways to profit from options? From what I've seen over the years of trading, I've really come down to where I really love to go to the butterflies and the other strategy, the long condor. So, you know, I've learned and I've taught a lot of different uh, trading strategies over the years. But uh, when I was thinking about the most valuable go-to trading strategy that could really literally help every single trader out there, more than anything else I knew and I broke it down that it would be a combination of using butterflies and the long condor option spread. Um, now, the huge advantage uh, of these strategies are their unique option framework that allows for more consistent and greater returns due to the simple but dynamic structure of these strategies. Now, because it requires only a small amount of your capital as well, it really helps to reduce your trading stress to kind of nil. Now, <clears throat> you know, trading really comes down to direction and then trade management and risk management. And that's why I love these two types of strategies that we'll talk about. Now, unlike other option strategies, such as the iron condor, the credit spreads or debit spreads, the butterflies and the long condors are very dynamic and can be traded for a variety of different reasons with different goals in mind. So in other words, you can learn how to trade a butterfly type strategy or a long condor, and you're going to be covered for both the offense and defense of a, a trading strategy to, to make profits and also to protect profits. So that's the thing that I've always been um, kind of on a mission to to establish is uh, I've been obsessed with cycles as far as directional trading and then protecting your positions through different types of option strategies. So this these two types of strategies will offer both, you know, the goals and the protection that you need. Now they can work no matter what the markets are doing. You can, you know, be an up market, down market, sideways market. Uh, these two strategies can provide income from stocks that are going nowhere. They can really help you to eliminate the stress of having to be perfect on your direction of a stock or overall market for it to succeed. Uh, helps to eliminate the time decay expense that many traders, all of us have from decaying long options and takes advantage or, you know, the takes a lot of the unsettling guesswork out of your trading. Uh, they can also be constructed for very low cost and can offer some really great higher reward to risk returns 10 to one or greater, uh, you can uh, see it's not uncommon. They also have other benefits. Now the butterflies and long condors are flexible as you're gonna see ahead in some examples that I'll show you. And once you learn the fundamental basic setups, you can then adapt these types of strategies for you know, both your goals and your market insights. Uh, they can also be constructed to be more of a, a kind of a market delta neutral type strategy. But the real great beauty of uh, these type strategies is they can be used for your directional trading. And uh, by constructing these types of strategies, it will offer you again a kind of a bullish or bearish exposure to the market when you feel pretty sure, you know, stock is headed in a certain direction. But if you're wrong, this is where it really gives you a big advantage. The butterfly and the long condor 
can also then help you to manage your risk and we're still at the same time retain or potentially have a large return. And that's really, you know, a win-win situation for a trader where you can uh, stay with a position and still have potential for it to turn into a really great uh, return on your capital at risk. Now, let's be real though, these types of strategies will not offer you that unlimited profit potential, but they're usually going to cost you a lot less than if you're just buying outright options, and they're gonna offer you a really an amazing risk to reward trade type setup. So this means that the butterflies and long condors can significantly increase the probability of your winning trades, while also at the same time, they're gonna help you to reduce your exposure and your risk to, to the market. And that's really what it comes comes down to in trading is being consistent, managing your trading risk. Uh, so the butterflies and the long condors, what I've found is they're fantastic for hedging a position. So we're all gonna you know, mess up and at times we're gonna need to really try to uh, neutralize our risk and somehow manage that risk that we've gotten into. So these types of strategies then can be used as a fast, low cost way to cover your you know what pronto when a position starts to move against you. Now we've been in a great uptrend, right? And only the last two days we've had kind of a downturn, but there are gonna be market environments where you're gonna to need to be able to establish uh, positions where you can neutralize your risk quickly. And these type of strategies can help you to do that. So by constructing a, a butterfly or a, a long condor strategy around a strike uh, that is under pressure from another core trade, such as you might have a credit spread on or debit spread, this becomes a great way to use these strategies to neutralize and control your risk, which then also allows you to lower your trading stress. And uh, believe me, I like to have as little stress as I can. Now, let's look at a few tips here for the butterfly long condor for hedging. What is great about it is that, you know, when you set up an original position, it could be a call debit spread, put debit spread, it could be credit spreads, whatever. Uh, and then something starts to happen in that position. So by using or utilizing these types of strategies, you can then keep your original position open by implementing either a butterfly or a long condor hedge around that original position. So this hedging strategy then takes advantage and helps you to do this because it takes advantage of time decay. So that, you know, taking advantage of time decay, then you can wait out, you know, potential rough spots of a position and many times that's all you need, just a little more time for that original position to stabilize and then go back into your favor. And then it's at that point, then you can just remove the hedge, stick with your original trade, you know, riding it for, for what it's, you know, for what it's worth. That's where I saw the huge advantage of these types of strategies. So many times, you know, you get into a trade, it's going great. And then all of a sudden some news comes out or it stalls out, it takes the momentum away and it starts to go sideways or down some and you you have to make a quick decision. Should you stop out? And then if you stop out, how many times have you seen it then come back? So that's what I found the beauty of these types of strategies. You can then stay in your core position and most of the time wait it out and then get back, you know, to the original trade. So here's basically what, what it looks like. If you say you had here, it's an example of a call debit spread. So you're long a call, short a call here. So you've got a call debit spread. You've got here at risk $300. So you know what your risk is, it's defined at 300, but still, you know, it's a lot of money. You don't want to lose $300 on the trade, all right? So what you can do quickly to neutralize it, then you could sell a call credit spread against it. And in this example, bring in $200 per spread, okay? And then what happens? Boom, you've just converted that trade to a, what we call a balanced butterfly. So you're ended up with a, your long call debit spread here, Okay, long the call, short a call, and then short another call here, long the call. Now you've reduced your risk down to only $100 now. So it went from that original call debit spread where you had your risk up here at 300, you've put on the credit spread side, now you've reduced your risk to 100, you still have a profit zone in here where you can still make some really good return. So that's the beauty of it. So you can neutralize quickly your risk and reduce your risk quickly. Now the long condor is similar, but the, the difference is that it skips a strike, one or two or three or four strikes back out. So you're not uh, sharing that same short strike as you would a regular balanced butterfly. 
So there are a lot of different variations, but uh, when you put the pieces together, it creates these structures. So here's your long call, say debit spread, and then a bear call credit spread, and that creates what we call this long condor. So it can be used for a long condor call condor or put condor. Now there are a lot of different variations too. We'll, we'll talk about some of those here today as we go forward. Now let's take a look at constructing just the butterfly trade itself. So here's an example. Let's say XYZ company, it's trading at $45. And our directional trading model or whatever kind of methodology you use for your trading is telling you that, hey, I, you know, I have a target. I think that XYZ is going to go down and going to go to my Fibonacci target level of $43. So I want to set up a nice little trade for this really little bit of trade movement, you know, just $2 down. How can I do that where I can really lower my risk, have it very, very low, but still have potential for a really great reward uh, on my capital at risk? So one way to do it, it would be a balanced butterfly. So if you look at this uh, setup here, you're basically what you're doing is on this example, you would buy to open one February contract, the 42 call, you're going to pay uh, $2.38. So that'd be $238 per option contract. Now you're going to sell then two contracts of the February 43 call, and you're going to get a dollar 67 credit that you bring back in two times. So you're getting $167 twice. Then you're going to buy the outside wing here, the 44 call, and you're going to have to pay a dollar six. Okay. So you've got your outside wing here. You're going to have to pay $238. Your outside wing here, you're going to pay a dollar six or 106. And then here's the body of the butterfly here, your short strikes where you're going to get receive $167 twice. So that's why it's called a butterfly. You've got the wings, the outer wings here, and you've got the body in here that you're short. This is where you short your target. So we have a target to 43. So we're going to sell that 40 target. And that's going to take advantage, as you're going to see, of time decay and implied volatility crush. So here's what you end up with. Your net debit then is your 238 debit there on that 42 call wing, the dollar six on the 44 wing. And then you bring in two times a dollar 67, multiply that times 100 to make it into an option contract equivalent. So you're at risk is $10 per option spread. That's it. Boom. Okay, now what's your profit? Your profit is you take the middle strike, so you take that 43 call, less your lower strike, the 42, okay, minus your net debit, which was 10 cents or $10 times 100 to convert it to an option, and here's what you have as your potential profit. So 43 minus 42 minus your cost gives you a potential, theoretical, I call it theoretical, because most of the time you're not gonna ever hit that max profit of 90 cents, times 100 to make it into an option contract equivalent. So your potential theoretical profits $90 per spread, per butterfly spread, and your risk is $10. So theoretically, this would make a potentially a 900% return on your at risk of $10. That's a nine to one positive risk reward. So they can restructure to give you these fantastic, really great positive risk reward strategies or setups. Now, um, let me see here if I can get the slide to move here. One second. Bear with me, it's kind of stuck. While I'm waiting for this thing to change, the thing that's that's great about options and these types of strategies too, it's kind of like for me, I call them, it's like a puzzle. You know, there's so many different ways that you can mix and match these types of uh, trades together. You know, credit spreads and debit spreads, and then you can come up with these various different uh, different types of uh, structures. Hold on one second. Okay, um, somehow I got hung, hung up. I think we're okay now. Can everybody hear me okay? Uh, second here, sorry. Oh, okay, good, sorry about that, got hung up. 
Now, next step is let's look at the concept that really, what really drives this particular, these two types of strategies, what make these things unique and amazing and how, how it works. So what are the core concepts, you know, behind that? So the most important option factor then, <clears throat> you know, for profit generation when you're using the butterfly and long condor strategy really comes down to understanding the concept of time or what we refer to as theta and the pricing and the effects that the price of an option that these two, this concept has on your option. So let's take a, a look at the core concepts here of pricing. So, you know, when you're pricing an option, the, the big core concept or the big components comes down to time value, which we refer to as the uh, extrinsic value of the option. So it's the premium, you know, that a sane, rational investor is willing to pay over its current exercise value, the intrinsic value. And that's based on its potential to go up in value before expiring. So in options, this probability is going to always be greater than zero. Thus, an option is always going to be worth more than its current exercise value. Now the change in the value of the option based on time decay, we can actually measure that change using the Greek called theta. So that's the other cool thing about options. You've got these different uh, little tools that are the Greeks that can theoretically help you measure what certain things will do to an option price and how that affects price using these Greeks. So option theta, the core concept of theta is that it tells you how much an option price will diminish or go down over time, and that's the rate of time decay of a stock's option. So time decay occurs because that extrinsic value of the uh, or the time value of the option is gonna go down as it gets closer to expiration. So it's kind of like if you go to a grocery store and you get a coupon, you look at that coupon, it says, man, you've gotta use this you know, coupon to get the, the value of it to before it expires on such and such date. So an option is kind of the same way. It's kind of like a coupon. It has an expiration date. So you can then look at option theta values and that will help you then decide how much an option could go down or up, you know, based on the decaying aspect of that option. And with the option theta, they're going to have either a positive or negative characteristic or value. So if you're long a, an option, so if you're long a call or long a put option, they're going to have negative theta value. So that's going to tell you that it's going to either potentially, if it's a long option, long a call or a put, it can lose value each and every day if the market just goes nowhere. So if that price is to go sideways, the theta time decay eats into your option price. Now the opposite of that is if you're short a stock option. So if you were to be short a call or short a put, that position has positive theta value. So if price goes sideways, it'll actually gain value as expiration draws near. So let's take a look at you know the value of the option. So what we're going to do is we'll go through a kind of an option um, you know option pricing model here to show you how uh, option time decay and implied volatility affect price. And once you can see the core concepts of what affects price, it's going to help you then to know and better understand you know what option strategies you should use and how it's affecting uh, the price of the option by these major components. So the major component will be time value times the implied volatility times the underlying value of your security, which is made up of that intrinsic extrinsic value. So here's a table to kind of go through this kind of little exercise. So in this table, this is a weekly option series and every Thursday we get a new option series that comes out. All right. So when that option series comes out on Thursday, that first day, that option that you're looking at will have 100% time value in that option you know when you start out so then you have time value the next major price component is the implied volatility of that option and then the next part of it is your underlying security the intrinsic extrinsic so in this example i kept this at a constant of one so you can see how time value and implied volatility affect price so time value implied volatility times that equals the price of your option or the premium so day one on Thursday, you've got 100% time. Implied volatility is 300. We kept this one, so you can see your price would be $300 per option contract. Now look here on Monday, you come in and boom, that's cut in half your time portion, and look how that affects then the price. So even if you pop up that implied volatility here to 800, 
it barely pushes the price of your option up only to 400. So what if you had implied volatility here of only 200? Then you could see your option price would only be $100. So the takeaway here is you can see that time value and implied volatility down here below go to zero. So if you're not aware of that, you know, it can really mess your trading up. So you want to be aware that uh, these two are decaying, you know, asset parts of the price component. They both go to zero at expiration. So you want to be aware of that and take advantage of it. So that's the key to these types of strategies to take advantage of time decay and also that implied volatility. Okay, so that's kind of an example there. Now, let's take a look at the best way to choose the best butterfly or long condor strategy, you know, that matches your trading goal. Now, the one major goal, in my opinion, for every trader really should be to select trades that are based on what's going to provide you the most consistent positive returns that are coming with low defined risk. So I'm kind of all about low risk, defined risk, and not always, you know, trying to hit that home run each and every time. So one of the best ways then to achieve this, in my opinion, is by being aware of the different option strategies that are out there available to you, understanding how they work, and then selecting the ones that's going to be best suited for the market environment you're trading in and your specific trading goals. So everybody here today will have a different amount of capital that you have to trade, your, your different times of day that you can spend trading. So that's going to go into your trading plan and also go into your risk reward parameters or your overall risk profile as a trader. So here's some of the butterfly strategies that uh, are out there and they're all basically uh, similar but different uh, little tweaks to them that make different uh, dynamics to these strategies. So you've got the, you can have a butterfly that's either using calls or puts. <clears throat> you can have what we call the broken wing butterfly using a call or put. Uh, one of my favorites uh, is what I've call it, kind of termed the ninja butterfly, which is an unbalanced or ratio butterfly. Uh, then you can use just a directional butterfly or kind of a delta neutral butterfly. You've got the iron butterfly that's great for just total volatility collapse, time decay collapse, for what we call pinning trades. And then the big positive, really great benefits from these two type strategies is the hedging benefit that they offer. So defending your trade using either butterfly or the long condor option spread. So these are the kind of strategies that I love to kind of go to and look at first. So let's take a look at a couple of uh, examples here so you can get a better understanding of these types of two strategies. So the balanced butterfly looks like this. We saw that a little bit earlier, you know, it could be used for calls or puts. And basically this is, you know, what we call the profit tent. So if it goes out at expiration right up here at your short strike, that target strike that you set up, that's where your max profit. So, and, and then in here you've got, you know, here's your profit zone. So we call that the kind of the profit tent. And then your risk is cut off here to the downside and upside. So, and there are variations of the butterfly, but I'll show you here today the balanced butterfly uh, and you know the great advantage that it has. So here's an example on Home Depot. Now here's Home Depot, and I, you know, to me trading starts out with direction and then I'd look to structure the best strategy for that market environment that it's in. But here was the trade setup. And on the 18th, it was trading right here at 183.50. And we were looking for a move just up to this 1272 extension uh, right here. So I like to use Fibonacci for my targets and then any unusual option activity I like to use too. So we had a target right up here to the 1272 extension. So it's trading right here at 183.50 uh, and we're looking for a target here, very short duration trade. Uh, you know, for expiration into Friday. So you can see the great thing about these trades, they're very short duration and you don't have, have to have a lot of price movement to make a really good return. So, you know, that was our target and uh, that was the thing that we were looking at, that target level there. And so we wanted to structure trade low risk to that area. So what we came up with was a put butterfly. Okay, so trade at 183.50. Uh, and the exit would, was going to be, we were hoping to hold this into expiration, which was on Friday. And, uh, uh, and so our target then was that Fibonacci level, the 187.50.
and it ended up going up to 188. So it's right within that profit zone. So here was the trade setup. Here's the breakdown of it. If I can get my drawing tool up, one second. So all it is, we were going long at the 190 put, okay, and then short the 187 and a half. So uh, okay, so that's a, a put debit spread, and then we were shorting another 187 and a half buying the 185 put. So that's a bull put credit spread. So you put those two together and you have that balanced butterfly. All right. So the cost on that trade was $64 per spread. All right. So that would also be then your max risk that debit paid. Your potential profit was the spread width. It's two and a half dollars wide or $250 less your cost of 64. What, will put you to your theoretical max profit of $186 per option spread. And that would be on your risk of 64, potential return of 290% return on your at risk of 64. So 2.9 to, to one positive risk ratio. Now this trade actually ended up making, going out making 130 per spread, which was still a fantastic return on your capital at risk. So here's the trade setup. You can see it below the 190 put, long, the 187 and a half short, the 187 and a half short, and then the 190. So balanced butterfly like that, $64 debit, theoretical max profit 186, max at risk 64. So let's take a look at what happened as it goes out and approaches our target, which it did. So you can see here the profit tent is right here. And that purple line on our pro risk profile, that's actually what the option spread is doing in time. So you can see it got up here and that little black area here is what's left going into expiration of the time decay, time value, and implied volatility. What's left of it going into expiration at the end of the day on Friday. So that's the little profit that's still left that uh, wasn't able to be squeezed out. So it was set up on the 18th and uh, went into expiration. Uh, and then at expiration, $131 per spread. And you can see here it went from $0.64 cent debit to $195 debit, okay, as that price started approaching into that profit tent here. So it actually overshot the profit, the perfect profit zone here. So that's why it didn't make the max full profit. So it went out at 188.13. And our target was 187.15, but still a nice little profit zone in here and a great return on little at risk. Okay, so that's a, a look there at a balanced butterfly. Okay, if the slide is bleeding, is it bleeding? Let me stop it and I'll start it one more time. One second. Okay, sorry about that. That should pop back up for you. Is that, is that good now? Okay, great. Sorry about that. I don't know what it, yeah, it gets kind of jammed up. All right, so that's your balanced butterfly. Now there are variations of this, but you know, I don't have enough time here today to go through the, the other different ones. We've got the ratio butterfly. We've got the iron butterfly. You've got skipped wing. There's a bunch of different variations, but this is the, the fundamental core, fundamental to the butterflies, the balanced. Okay, so that's an example, but also it's a great strategy for certain conditions. So that target I showed you. Now, here's the other one. Here's what we call the call, uh, a long condor. So you can do this either with calls or puts. And I love this strategy as well. Uh, it's kind of, it kind of is my major go-to strategy. And so here's an example on Western Digital. All right, so here's your, you know, what that structure looks like. So you can make this into a, using puts or calls, but basically you're gonna have a long call here and a short call here. So here, here would be a call debit spread. And then here you're going to sell, you know, in this example as a call condor, then you sell a bear call credit spread here and buy your call here. So you've got the bear call credit spread side. So you've got this profit zone in here that you can really, you know, have a great zone of profit and you can make these things sometimes really wide, you know, so you have a fantastic zone of profit and very low reduced risk by doing this structure. And that's the thing I love about it. So let's take a look at this example here of a long condor. So here's one set up for Western Digital. So the trade started out trade one 
was just to do a long call debit spread. So this is what I love about it. So you can set up a long call debit spread. And then if it starts to go against you, I will immediately establish then a hedge. And so in this, in this uh, example, we were looking for a nice move up on Western Digital. So it was trading right here. And so we got long the call debit spread when it was trading right in here, right in here. And then the next day it had a pullback right there. It kind of pulled back, jerked back. And we were, you know, looking at potentially the market to maybe correct, which it never did. But uh, anyway, we were looking for that potentially to happen. So we established then a hedge against it uh, on the 15th the next day when it was trading at 96, uh, 9060. So established a hedge, which was a short bear call credit spread. Okay. So we had the long call debit spread. Then we added a short call debit spread. That creates this structure, which you're about to see. So the first trade, trade one was your long call debit spread right here. Okay, so we're long a call, short a call. So that's the 90 and a half call long, 93 short. Okay, long call debit spread, paid a dollar for $104. Okay, so for that spread there. Now, uh, the spread, you know, it went up and um, closed up at our target. So this was actually, um, you know, up went from 104 just to show you what happened to 203. So it was up, you know, uh, over a dollar. So we had a, a dollar, hundred dollars per spread going out on that. So that's the long call debit spread. So that was the first trade set up. But then the next day we sold a bear call credit spread. Okay. And we flipped the slide over here. So we sold this bear call credit spread. We sold the 94, 96. So we short the 94 here. Law on the 96 bear call credit spread brought in $29 credit. All right, so that $29 credit then reduces that call debit spread. And now we ended up with this structure here, this condor. So long a call debit spread here, short a bear call credit spread. And the combination of the two together actually made more than if you just left on the call debit spread. So here we end up with what we call that long call condor. And we've reduced our risk down from that 94 to 75 and when it was trading right here going out at 92.91 we were right here within that condor and it was up the whole spread was up 128 dollars per spread okay so 128 dollars profit per spread on your risk of 75 is 170 percent return so again a low kind of a low stress type trade setup uh, and that's what, you know, I'm really kind of all about is low stress uh, as far as when trading goes around because uh, uh, been around it enough that I know I don't want to have a lot of stress. So hold on. So here's, you know, what it would look like if you just looked out the uh, parameters of the trade. So you ended up with a nine and a half long call short the 93. So here's your call debit spread. Then you had the 94. See, we skipped a strike here. Sometimes you can skip more than a strike. And so then we have the 9496. The at risk then was $75 debit. So your theoretical profit then is the difference. Potentially you can make 175 on your risk of 75. So that's the the condor you know trade setup. And you can do this with puts as well. So you can do it either either way. So for downside movement, you do a put condor upside the call condor. So it's just a really great strategy, uh, all in all. So very similar to the butterfly, but a little bit different. And it gives you a broader profit window, which is something that I really like about it. So uh, if you'd like to learn more how to master these types of high reward, low risk strategies that can work in any kind of market environment, I'm going to let you in on a really great uh, package that I've put together for everybody here today. And, you know, I didn't have time to go through all the different variations, but I've got this course uh, that's a five hour recorded on demand course and it's 100% on the actual option butterfly. So I'm gonna give you a really great um, uh, additional bonus here that I'll show you in just a moment, moment if I can speak. And so use this link here, powercycletrading.com forward slash S-T-A-R-T, all small cap. You should be able to just click on that. It'll pull up a payment link. You're not gonna see all the bonuses, but you're gonna get everything here today if you're you know, buying it today. Uh, so you're going to get the on-demand recorded course. It's broken down in five uh, modules, 30-minute modules. Uh, that's, you know, on the cloud, so you can access it on your mobile device, whatever. Then you'll get the full PowerPoint of the course. My courses are very, very detailed. 
uh, you're going to get the training manual and then you're going to get some additional bonuses, which I'm going to show you uh, right now. So uh, again, going through here, use this link here and you'll see um, all the goodies in here will come into your, um, your, your, your course vault. As soon as you sign up, you'll get a login and all that kind of stuff for it. Uh, so use that, you can copy it, you can paste it into a browser or you can just click on it. So you're gonna get the five hour on-demand butterfly course, okay? And if you go to my website, you'll see that uh, that course is uh, on my site at 297. Plus you're gonna get a live follow-up Q&A, okay? So that'll be in a couple of weeks. We'll send you an email on that. If you can't make it, it'll be recorded. You can send your questions in ahead of time if you'd like. You're gonna get a bonus, my option strategy manifesto. And so I'll show you what that is in a minute. You're going to get another bonus, my Greek power tool guide. These are printouts you can put on your desk. You'll get a free, if you've never been a member to my trading club, you'll get a one month trial membership to my trading club. If you, if you want to stay, that's 97 a month. And here's the, the additional bonus here for everybody here today. So this is a very special surprise bonus. Now in February, I haven't uh, uh, put together the exact uh, date yet, I'm going to be doing a new course that will be on the butterfly and condor. Okay. So this will be a new live course, hundred percent new on the butterfly and long condor uh, trading strategies. So you're going to get a invite free invite to that live course, and then you'll get the recording of the course as well. And uh, all the, the PowerPoint of the course. So that's going to be just here today for anybody that signs up and takes advantage of this um, bonus everything here for $97. So super great deal. And this is going to be a lot of fun, this new course in February. So again, I haven't set the date, but you'll get an invite to it. It'll be free as part of your package today if you sign up today at 97. So again, you're going to get the current on-demand course, five hour plus butterfly course, 281 page training manual, plus the invite to this new course that I'll be doing in February. Uh, now in the butterfly course itself, here's kind of basically what we go through. Very, very extensive course, just 100% on butterfly, the core basics that you need to know about the butterfly. Uh, what option creeks you need to know that are vital, vital to you know, using the, the butterfly strategy. In this course, how, when, and why to use the long call or put butterfly, a broken wing butterfly, the ratio butterfly. So I didn't have time to go through all these today. The broken ring, wing ratio, directional iron butterfly, and another one's cool, the vacation butterfly. So when's the best time to put it on? Take it off. So go through why to put it on a week ahead, two weeks out, et cetera. How to get these structures where you get that 10 to one higher positive risk ratio on as little as $10 or sometimes even less. So a great strategy for all kinds of environments. How to profit from option volatility collapse and theta decay. These are two major components of the option price. So how do you take advantage of that? Uh, how to make big profits on very low capital at risk using these strategies. And the other great thing that they're really great for is what we call option pinning. So every month or every week, you know, options go out and they have to go out and expire at a certain strike price. So one great benefit to using a butterfly strategy is to take advantage of what we call that option expiration pinning. So in the course, it teaches you how to target the correct pinning strike for expiration and then profit from it using the butterfly strategy. And then also in the course, we go through price target analysis. You know, how do you pick your targets using Fibonacci? We actually in the course show you the Fibonacci analysis to use. And then a step-by-step -step checklist on how to put the butterfly on, take it off, execution management. And the biggest part really is hedging, okay? How to use the butterfly to hedge and then goes into butterfly defending a butterfly trade, how to defend actual butterfly. We give you six different different uh, defenses for that as well. So it's a very, very uh, uh, thorough course. Uh, here's a little feedback from uh, one of the uh, course attendants. This was from HR. Just wanted to say, again, what a terrific job you're doing on your options and tool teaching sessions. You have provided us with just an amazing amount of extremely valuable information and tools and your ability to teach what you've so cleverly created is simply amazing. Thank you so much for caring about us as students, providing us with the great tools and guidance, and for doing such an absolutely terrific job. 
Thank you, HR, PhD. Thank you if you're here, HR, for that great endorsement. So that's a little just feedback on that specific uh, course there. So you're, you're going to get here today. Again, if you use that link, uh, this step-by-step -step blueprint course on trading the option butterfly, high reward, low risk, profit hedging uh, strategy, five-hour recorded course, 30-minute modules, 281-page training manual of the entire program, plus a live follow-up Q&A. We'll do that probably about two weeks, so you'll get an email invite on that, plus this extra bonus surprise here today, which access to the new Butterfly and Condor course I'll be doing in February. So it's to be announced as far as the date and time, but you'll get an invite for that as if you sign up here today. And it's all for just $97. Now you also get the uh, strategy guide. This is a uh, 15 different option strategies. You can print it out, put it on your desk. Shows the risk reward profile of these. You know, it's really cool diagrams. And then you'll get my option brief uh, of the Greeks, which you can also put on your desktop, print it out. I'm a paper guy, so you know what is theta gamma. So you'll have it right there at your fingertips. And then if you've never been a member to my trading club, you'll get a free trial membership there to kick the tires. And, um, you know, if you would like to stay, it's 97 a month after that. We've got a virtual trading room open uh, each and every day, 9.25 a.m. Eastern. I'm in for the first hour, then back for the last uh, 35, 40 minutes uh, for the close. Do a daily market updates, videos of, you know, what my market uh, outlook is, what setups we're looking at, any alerts that we're looking at. We do a lot of seasonality trades from time to time as well. We do a live Q&A every week, Traders Educational Vault. Uh, you get award points for every month you're paying member. You'll get a $20 credit and 60% discounts on my courses and trading software. So we have a lot of directional trading software, too, that's available to you. So really a great package. Hopefully everybody here will jump on board. Uh, I'd love to work with you in the future. And this will be such a fun course, too. You're going to get a lot out of it, the new course. But this course you're going to get here on demand is just a fantastic course. So. Uh, if you've got any questions, I've got just a few minutes here, and um, but again, um, I think you're going to get some tremendous value here if you're interested in learning more about these types of um, kind of directional low risk trading strategies. Um, I use uh, I like to use Thinkorswim and uh, TradeStation. So here's my trading software here. We were looking at Apple here earlier, so uh, here's my trading model here. So whatever. I don't know, put on whatever, but this is my uh, trading model that you'll also have access to. And um, this is what we use for directional trading and, you know, Fibonacci. So I'm big on Fibonacci incorporating that. But uh, so you'll learn how to use this trading model if you're interested. And this is for all of our directional trades. And then, then how to incorporate the option strategies that I just showed you for those directional type of trades. Okay. Um, All right, so appreciate everybody being here. And okay, so there's a good question. What's the difference between or benefit of a long condor versus an iron condor? Uh, so they're different because with the long condor, you're going to use all calls or all puts. Where if you're using an iron condor, uh, that's a combination of a, a put spread and a and a call spread. So that's kind of the basic difference. But so they're used for different conditions. All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. Good luck trading and uh, hope to see you um, in the future and hope to see you at the, my future course. So again, remember, if you sign up here today, you'll get free access and all the goodies for my, my course that'll be coming up in February. So that'll be on the Butterfly and Condor, just an additional, uh, very extensive course on this these two strategies. So thanks again, everybody. Good luck trading and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.